Welcome to the HPE Africa News Desk. This week, we look at the penultimate round of the Zimbabwe Summer Series held at Donnybrook. Laren van der Westhuizen is your commentator. Well, this is what it's all about. 50cc Pee Racing development at its best. Zimbabwe really focusing on their junior classes. You can see the Pee class getting out there. And the rider they're all trying to catch is a young lady rider, Tanya Mozinda. She doesn't get the start. She's out on that uh, Honda, but it looks like Ryan Massimo with the whole shot. And there on the number 19 is another one of our lady riders, Ariana Thomas. So the Pee class full of young lady talent. You can see now in second place, Tanya Mozinda and one of the fastest corners I've ever seen on a 50cc machine. There she is now, right onto the back end of the 26 of Ryan Massimo. Late on the brakes, watch this, pitching into the turn, leg out, incredible riding style. And there was battles all the way around the field. You see such tiny little guys out there. This is where it all starts, and you name it, from Grant Langston to Tyler Rattray, they started at the same level, and of course, Mom will be involved. But it's Tanya Mazinda on the Honda. She is a superstar in the making through the final turn, and the checker flag waiting for her. My name is Ryan Massimo. I ride Pewis and I'm from Zimbabwe. My name is Tanya Razwanzinda. I'm from Zimbabwe and I'm in Pewis. Pewis. Jordan cheat me. Jordan cheat me. What class do you ride? Pewis. Where are you from? Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Well done. Hello, my name is Ariana Thomas and I ride in the the Peewee's class. How old are you? I am six. My name is Darab Wenzel. I ride from I ride Peewee and I come from Zambia. I'm David Knox and I'm I ride in Peewee. My name is Lee Chigumba. I'm from Zimbabwe. Well, we thought we'd get comments from all the kids on two wheels this time around. And we're on the line now with a really impressive full gait of 65cc B riders. Look at that impressive. Oh, and you can see why it's the B class. These guys still learning the clutches. Couple of bikes flipping on the start. We'll wait and see who breaks later and gets the whole start. It looks like it could be Joshua Bailey on the number 26. Late on the brakes. And yes, he is your race leader on the KTM. And uh, getting away from the guys out of the turn one. So really put the hammer down in this first race in the Supercross. You can see the junior classes racing in broad daylight. The seniors will be racing under floodlights a little bit later. Look at that. Late on the brakes there. The man on 23 right in the mix. Ryan Moore. And he's really put the hammer down. Look at that. Sweeping wide through that sandy turn. Trying to make his way through to the front. There's Wazir Omar all the way from Uganda. Nice to have the Ugandans with us. And they're putting in a pretty good performance as well. Late on the brakes there. The number 30. Majiji Maziriri. And uh, development really going in leaps and bounds in Zimbabwe. Look at that pass on the inside. Ryan Moore was trying to go for the race win there, but uh, Joshua Bailey able to get some momentum out of the turn and do the double. And you can see this left sandy turn causing a whole bunch of problems for the riders. That's Ryan Moore that's gone down. So what a pity, the man on 23 looked like the fastest guard on track. And uh, whilst he was in the front, just throwing it away. So that gives Joshua Bailey the lead back once again. And right behind him, Ryan McKenzie starting to come through to the front. The, the 23, Ryan Moore is up and running again, all running a little bit wide and down, so obviously a little bit rattled. He was certainly the quickest man out on track, but uh, a couple of mistakes there, putting him a little way back. And see the rest of the riders coming through. Once again, that's Majiji Mazariri. And look at this, this is the final turn. It looks like Ryan McKenzie has slotted through to the front. What a performance from the young man. Hello, my name is Majaji Musariri. I'm from Zimbabwe and I ride in the 65B, and my sponsor is ZMD Motor Distributors. Hello, my name is Ryan McKenzie, and I ride in the 65B class, and I'm from Zimbabwe. My name is Joshua Musari, I'm from Zimbabwe. I ride, for Zimbab I ride for ZMD in the 65B class. I'd like to thank my, spot my sponsor, ZMD, for giving me the bike and the kit. My name is James Dean Harrison. I ride 65 class and, I'm in, I, and I, I come from Zimbabwe. Hi, my name is Dylan Robinson. I'm from Zimbabwe. My class is 65 B. So. Hi, my name is Ryan Moore. I'm from Zimbabwe and I race in the 65 B.
65B class. My name is Leanne. I ride in the 65B class. I'm from Zimbabwe. Right, and the future stars are lining up for their first heat. It's the 50B class. And what a strong lineup of riders. Oh, you see one of the riders hitting the gate, going a little bit too early over Eager in this first race of the Supercross. But what a start from Ricky White on 84. Of course, named after the famous Ricky Carmichael. And there we go, doing exactly what Ricky did. And that's gone to the front. So nice start from the young man. And we'll wait and see who's in second place. It's Tristan Firstfeld with a good start. He really is a pocket rocket and knows how to get a good start. He practices at 24 7. Number 77 right behind him. Thomas Webb also with a good start. So the top three starting to get away from the rest of the riders. Another one of the first felt brothers, Corey first felt this time. We can see the doubles and the supercross technical sections causing a few problems for the riders out there. That's young Jaden Young. And you can see really technical part of the track. But nice at the 50 B's got out there and did their racing during the day. But no one could catch that man on the 84. Ricky White was proving to be a real dominant force taking the jacket flag. Right, Tristan Fersfeld managed to hold on to second place on the number 11. And then we bring home the 77 of Thomas Webb in third place. Strong ride from the young man. Cam Peterson and Bradley Cox showing off some muscle. We're going to be seeing them on the track when it gets a little bit darker later. My name is Tristan Fersfeld. I ride in 50B. My name is Ricky White. I'm a Zimbabwean rider. <laughs> I'm Luke Hobbs and, and I ride in KTM 50 and I'm from Zimbabwe. My name is Andrew Patra and I ride for 50 B. I'm Corey Burswalt. I ride in 50 CCP and I am a Zimbabwean rider. My, my name is Waleed. I'm from Uganda. I'm in 50 B. My name is Cameron Rillo. I ride in the 50 B class. Uh, my name is Justin Misariri. I ride in 50B and I'm from Zimbabwe. My name is Thomas Webb. I ride in 50B and my name is Matthew. I'm in 50B and I'm from Zimbabwe. Time for the real hot shots, the 50cc A class. And this time we got international flavor with Jonathan Mlimi. It looks like he's going to get himself the whole shot in heat one. Been chased down by a stack of talent from Zimbabwe. It looks like BJ Chitima, the man who's got into second place. So good start from him. And Maduo Chugumba on the number 20 sits in third place. These 50As really got running around the Supercross track in a big hurry and showing some good pace. Can't wait to see these youngsters in the South African National Championships perhaps in 2013. But it was Jono Mlimi. You can see Dad watching from the sideline there. Right up and over the double. The only 50 to do that big double. And you can see through the timing section knowing how to stay nice and low. But a big battle of the Zimbabweans for second place. BJ Titima and Mudiwa Chugumba. John Omlimi, lots of style out there showing you what the pace of South African 50cc racing is all about. And the guys watching from all over the circuit. And there we go. Still the stars for second place. Goes on. BJ Titima, one of the biggest jumpers out there, was almost clearing that massive tabletop. And uh, through to the finish though, the South African rider takes the win in heat one. BJ Titima holds on for second place and Madiwe Chugumba chasing him down in third. My name is Dayan Manuel. I'm, I'm from Zimbabwe and I ride 50A. My name is Kudamina. I ride for Zimbabwe. I'm in the 50A class. Are you far? Yes. My name is BJ Chima. You can call me Big. I ride for Zimbabwe. I'm in 50A. And um, I'm coming second several times, coming third. My name is Mudiwa Chikumba. I ride in the 50 CCA. Um, I'm from Zimbabwe. Onto the main Supercross proper under floodlights. That's what it's all about. And the Zimbabwe Summer Series started in 1967, so 45 years later, which by our calculation puts the Bogwilas Motocross Committee as one of the oldest committees around in Africa and putting on an absolutely spectacular show for a packed out stadium right here at Donnybrook. And a true testimony to the strength and willpower of the people in Zimbabwe. They've had to fight through much. You can see their packed stadiums, all the riders getting out on track and a chance to just do a parade lap and uh, show the, the crowd what it's all about and how young some of these riders are. You can see that Richard Bonavesta is a multiple South African champion, followed by Merrick Spog. Those were two of the main features. But this was the highlight of the evening. Zimbabwe witnessing Alistair Sayer do Zimbabwe's very first live backflip. 
and the crowd responding there and uh, they will remember that for a lifetime this is the 65 cc a class and underway and the man they're all trying to chase down the 87 of davin cocker from zambia and zambia producing some real talent in the zimbabwe summer series in and out of the first turn you can see it's nighttime now a little bit dark through that first turn and uh, davin cocker has snuck away from the field Wait and see, we're on board with Tristan Granger. Not such a good start from the young man. He was the, the MSA South African 50cc champion up here on a 65 now and proving that he's a pretty strong candidate. Up on the inside of Cameron Duro, the South African superstar. And it looks like Tristan Granger going to slot into second place. Cameron Duro there attending the series from halfway. So just learning... Uh, the ropes on the supercross track but Devin Cocker had it all tied up on the 87 the young man from Zambia looked like a seasoned professional in the 65 cc a class and on this very demanding supercross track and see some of the guys there oh that was Cameron Duro coming from the side of the track he must have had some sort of a problem but Devin Cocker there look at that for a riding style and through to take the checker flag in the supercross race my name is Devin Cocker I'm racing for Zambia and I hope to I'm winning this this summer series Good. Right, onto the 85cc A class, and we had the American here, Dare de Martiel, starting on the inside line. Didn't get out of the gate too well, but look at that, hanging off the back of the bike, he's going to break latest. Well, as I say that, from the outside line, the 51 of Brad Perry goes to the front. So late on the brakes, nice to see that from a, a young man who's also relatively new to the 85cc class. But uh, the powerhouse of Zimbabwe, Regan Wasmuth, sits in third place on the number 12. As the rest of the riders come through, two riders from Botswana as well in this uh, class, Brady Armstrong and Joshua Potts. So we'll wait and see where they go through. On the inside though, Regan Wasmuth makes the pass on Brad Perry. And you can see around the outside, there are lots of different options on the track. And uh, the guys having to get up and over that double from the inside line. We just saw Joshua Potts from Botswana go through. And there we go, on the number 16, it's Liam Robinson just behind Scott Mello. You can see the Dare de Martel up in the front, starting to stretch his legs now. Really big jumps on this track for 85cc. Regan Wasmuth almost absolutely wide open to get up and over the tabletop. But Dare de Martel was always going to be the man to beat from the United States of America. And Jamie White, thumbs up. On the line with the 125cc class, and this was a real exciting one to watch with Bradley Cox and Cole Barberi, the American rider, up the inside, runs a little bit wide, and Bradley Cox sneaks back into the front on the BC KTM machine. So Cole Barberi then's got his work cut out, and uh, we saw the young American Dare de Martel on his 85 in the 125cc class trying to get some little bit of extra power. That was a really big triple to get up and out of, uh, out of that inside turn. Josh Thomas out there on the 21, just behind Cole Robinson. Back with our race leaders, Bradley Cox still leads this one, and these guys are setting lap times only about a second a lap off our fastest MX2 riders. So proving that the 125 is getting around the Supercross track in a big hurry. And Bradley Cox, no one to catch him in this race heat. Well, Cole Bobberry did try on the final turn to make a pass, but uh, came a little bit unstuck. There he is on the 615. He's still going to bring it home in second place, though. Good ride from the American rider. This is the MX2 class, and the crowd's really packed to the side of the track to watch this one. Some real big talent, including Richard Van Avestes, and can he get the whole shot, though? Looked like a good start from the MS. Merrick Spog on the Kawasaki. And see around the outside line, Ross Branch also with a good start right alongside there. Richard Van Avestes, and all we're on board with the Zimbabwean. Jaden Ashwell almost landing on one of the riders in front of him. That looked like Ashley fixed in another one of the Zimbabweans with a good start. You can see all the different line options. If you ran wide here, he gave it the inside line away, but uh, fast enough around the outside, Jaden Ashwell to hang on to that position. And one of the hotshot favorites, he's going to have to work really hard to catch these guys up in the front. Well, what has happened to Richard Van Avestes? And he's gone missing. It looks like Merrick Spog is in the front with Ross Branch right behind him. And Jaden Ashwell has made his way up into third place. There's Jesse Wright also having a fantastic ride in that fourth place and bringing along quite a few youngsters behind him, including Dima Ferks from Zambia. We're back with our race leaders. Merrick Spog holds onto the front and the checkered flag. And he'd won what a performance from the young man. Well, on board with Jaden Ashwell, and this is the start of the MX1 class, and uh, he'll be hoping for a better start than he got on the MX2. And it looks like another good start. Richard Van Avestes and slots into that inside line. Can he hold on to it? Because Jaden Ashwell is all over the back end of him as they go through into the main straight. Richard Van Avestes and holds on to the front. Just remember to the viewers out there, we're focusing on the Supercross of the Zimbabwe Summer Series and you can catch the motocross action on the first show of 2013 and it'll be lots to look forward to. 
Back to the racing and Ian Topless, the old man of this class, right in the mix and uh, really enjoying his time at Summer Series. In fact, he's a former Summer Series winner. But this time around, leaving it to the young guns up in the front. Richard Bonavesta is a hard man to catch. On board with Jaden National, still holding on to second place, but uh, all the front end just tucking under him there. And looks like he's going to give away valuable positions. And uh, Ian Topless, probably one of the riders that capitalise on it, moving up a few places. Noel Wiley customer and bringing along Cam Peterson for the ride as well. No one can catch that man on the full throttle Monster Energy MR. Richard Van Amestays in. Now come to be in second place though, Ross Branch from Botswana. So back on board with Jaden Ashwell. And uh, well, he's trying to go up and make up a few more positions in the exact same place. Obviously having a problem with that corner going down. You can see he's collected one of the riders with him. It looks like Dottain Lobjo from Botswana. So the 2 one one of Jane Nashville having a real mess of things in this uh, final MX1 race of the Supercross. Richard Van Der is in the left up in the front and showing his uh, real medal as the South African 450cc champion. Ross Branch has been in the United States for some time. Come back and White Avis there sitting in third place on that new Husqvarna 450. Pretty impressive to watch that bike out on track. So back on board with Jaden Ashwell though. He's had two big crashes in this race and now trying to fight his way back up, needing some valuable points in the Summer Series. Richard Van Der no problems. This is going to be a start to finish race for him and looking good for the Series Championship.